Since the beginning of the pandemic, Wisconsin's unemployment system has been under fire. It took the state nearly nine months to clear a backlog of unemployment claims. The officials who run Wisconsin's unemployment system tell lawmakers much of the ongoing problems can't be fully addressed without a new processing system, something that will take a decade to build. Capitol Bureau Chief A.J. Bypore has you covered on what we learned at today's hearing what you've gone through this past year. So. Testifying before the Senate's Workforce Committee Wednesday, Sandra Medini from Northeast Wisconsin describes a nightmare familiar to thousands around the state. I had still not heard anything at the beginning of August. I was on the verge of losing my home. I had to, as a 54-year-old woman, go and ask my mom and dad to help me with my mortgage payments so I would not lose my home. DWD officials who gave a presentation outlining the issues with its outdated tech earlier in the day say a partnership with Google has helped speed up the processing of claims. We've got some sort of short term, what I would call like band-aid fixes on our current system that we can implement, but none of that replaces the need for just a full-blown modern, you know, overhaul. As for the overhaul, Republican lawmakers question why Governor Evers' administration did not use any of the federal money from this spring to begin the project. He never did. I think this would have been a great use for that. Um, if he had asked for it, I'm pretty sure it would have got some pretty heavy, a good look at it and probably approval. The administration says it would prefer a long-term funding commitment from state lawmakers since DWD says the total cost is around $100 million. Republicans declined to act in a special session Evers called earlier this month, saying the money's already there for him to start the upgrades. It's going to be a multi-year, 10-year project, um, so it would be you know, difficult without sort of that commitment from all of the stakeholders and the legislature. Meanwhile, Mendini says she got her money just this month. So now I'm having to pay taxes in, in 2021 on it. In Madison, AJ Byatpour, 27 News.